targeted drug delivery system in this video we are going to discuss about introduction and a concept of targeted drug delivery system introduction targeted drug delivery system is a special form of drug delivery system where the medicament is selectively targeted or delivered only to its site of action in the system would be loaded with drugs and targeted to specific part of the body or diseased tissue so that we can avoid interaction with healthy tissues so targeted drug delivery sometimes called smart drug delivery system because in traditional drug delivery system such as oral injection or intravascular injection the medication is distributed throughout the body so only small portion of medication reaches the affected organ in targeted drug delivery system we can overcome this major problem first point it is a method of delivering medication to a patient in a manner that increases the concentration of medication in some part of body relative to others second point targeting drug delivery system restrict its access to the non target normal cellular lining it means it avoid interaction with healthy tissue so that it minimize toxic effects and maximizing the therapeutic index of the drug third point the drug delivery system is highly integrated and requires various disciplines such as chemist biologist and engineers to join forces to optimize this system goal of targeted drug delivery system first prolong targeted drug delivery system is usually a slow and steady release of drug for extended period of time second localize medication given to a certain site or particular part of the body third target a part of body or organ as the aim of attack or a drug delivery point why drug targeting is needed first pharmaceutical factors drug instability in conventional dosage form low solubility second biopharmaceutical factors low absorption high membrane bounding biological instability third pharmacokinetic or pharmacodynamic factors short half life large volume of distribution and low specificity fourth clinical factors low therapeutic index fifth reaching difficult organs like brain retina tumor six intracellular drug delivery oligonucleotides intracellular proteins genes seven prolonging drug response drug retention and release are prolonged example retina concept of targeted drug delivery system first targeting the drugs to special cells and tissues of the body without becoming a part of the systemic circulation is a very novel idea second 
the drug can be administered in a form such that it reaches the receptor site in sufficient concentration without disturbing an extraneous tissue cell. It means the drug is administered and reaches the receptor site without disturbing an healthy tissue cell. Third point, targeted drug delivery is prepared by considering first specific property of the target cell, second nature of carrier or marker or vehicle which conveys drug to a specific receptor, third ligands and physically modulated components. Components of target drug delivery First, target cell Target cell is a group of cells in minority identified to be in the need of treatment. Example, infected tissues and cancer cells. Second, carrier or marker Targeted drug delivery can be achieved by using carrier system. Carrier is one of the special molecule or system essentially required for effective transportation of loaded drug up to the pre-selected site. Example, polymers, microcapsule, microparticles, nanoparticles, liposomes, measles, etc. Third, ligand. The ligands confirm recognition and specificity upon the carriers and lead them to approach the respective target and deliver the drug. Example, antibodies, polypeptide, endogenous hormone, etc. Advantages of targeted drug delivery. First, reduce dose of drug. Second, reduce dosing frequency. Third, reduce drug side effects and toxicity. Fourth, reduce fluctuation in plasma drug concentration. Five, avoid hepatic first pass metabolism. Six, more uniform effect of the drug. 7. Maximize the therapeutic index. 8. Improve drug bioavailability. Disadvantage of targeted drug delivery system. First, high cost which makes productivity more difficult. Second, rapid clearance of targeted system. Third, immune reaction against carrier system. Fourth, diffusion and redistribution of released drug. Fifth, required highly sophisticated technology for the formulation. Sixth, required skills for manufacturing, storage and administration. Seven, difficult to maintain the stability of the dosage forms. Eight, low drug loading in the formulation. In next video, we will discuss about events and biological process involved in drug targeting. Thank you.